Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaliyah. If you guys don't know me, if you're new to my channel, please press that subscribe button. And if you are a member of my channel already, you already subscribe. What's poppin'? About three months since I recorded a um, video on my channel, and I will probably get into that into another video, even though this video kind of like gives you guys insight on why I kind of like taking a break but as you see by the title today we're going to be talking about why i decided to take a gap year after getting my associate's degree so if you're new to my channel um i'm 21 years old i graduated from lehigh carbon community college in december 2018 so that means next month will be officially one year i've been out of school my major was psychology so i have my little you know book here looks like there's nothing on it okay there we go i have my little book here just to you know hit keep track and make sure i'm saying everything correctly this video is going to be broken down into three parts why i took my gap year what i learned about myself from taking the gap year and what happened to me during the gap year and before i even get into this video first of all thank you for the 1.3k views on the video of when i dyed my hair black y'all we get it somewhere, all right? So if you haven't seen that video of when I dyed my natural hair black, make sure you click the link below or above. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but yeah. So to start off with why I decided to um, take my gap year was because of my major. Basically by the end of my high school year, like around like 11th grade, I wasn't even thinking about college y'all. Like I promise you, I wasn't even thinking about college. Like I was just like, okay, I'm gonna graduate. And I had no plan after that. But everyone around me started talking about college. My mom started to bring up college and all that stuff. And I'm just sitting here like, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I felt like I was kind of rushed. I mean, I am the first one out of my um, my siblings to actually like finish college. Um, so during that time, like in high school, I was kind of like, I felt like I was rushed and like pressured because like, you know you want to make your mama proud so it's like okay i gotta figure this out and one thing that i did know when i was in um, high school was that i like giving advice to people and i like um helping others which you can which is kind of why i chose psychology a little bit like there's more to psychology than than just helping people like it's very that's like psychology is very broad and so when I chose psychology like I was like mm, okay so when I started taking classes when I started school I don't know I wasn't interested in it and I felt like it was because I was I felt like I was rushed into it and I felt like I didn't really have time to really think about what I wanted to do for the rest of my life which is literally everybody's life like you're supposed to know what you want to do by the time you graduate and then I feel like that is so like that sucks because that's not true not everybody knows what they want to do and all that stuff now that i've been out of school and i actually had time to think next month it's going to be a year with me out of school throughout that whole gap year um i have been really thinking about what i wanted to do and i decided to switch my major to social work so that will be a whole nother video. Comment down below if you really want me to make a video on why I switched my major from psychology to social work. Another reason why um, I decided to take a gap year, I kind of already mentioned it before, but it was because of my goals. I did not, I, I did it not, I did it not. I didn't know what I wanted to do after high school. Like even after college, I didn't even know what I wanted to do when I figured out that I was gonna go for psychology. I didn't know what I wanted to do so that's why I was like you know what I need to take this break for myself because I'm not about to keep spending money I'm not about to have to pay back all these student loans and I don't even know if psychology is something that I really wanted to get into why they gotta freaking do this now the guy's like mowing the freaking um grass like nigga the fuck all right so if you hear noise in the background it's because they're mowing the grass or whatever the third reason why i decided to take my gap year was because i realized that something was wrong with me internally now this could be a whole separate video but i'm just gonna very i'm just gonna go right over it um basically i was always angry during high school um 
funny part is my friends never really asked me why they just assumed that i was drake they assumed that um i was always just sad for no reason <laughs> they assumed that i was just this person that was just sad all the time and that's all i wanted to be little did they know that um there was something wrong with me internally i was angry for multiple reasons mostly um due to family issues um due to weight like weight issues due with me not loving myself due to me not um feeling like i was a part of the the group um due to me like yeah so i was angry i was angry in high school i was angry after high school i was angry during college i was sad during college also with that me being angry i was also dealing with a lot of stress i was also going through a lot of heartbreak and i was also dealing with a bunch of friends that backstabbed me and i will make a whole nother video on that but i was dealing with a whole bunch of friends backstabbing me and feeling like they could just be my friend after treating me wrong and doing me dirty and talking to whoever i was talking to so the fuck um, of course, I was fucking sad. Like, the fuck? Going through all that stuff. Um, bye. The fuck? I wouldn't want to... Anyway. Also, um, I was also holding on to a lot of stuff during my childhood. In high school, I didn't know that I was... In high school, I didn't know that I was holding on to all that anger and all that stuff from my childhood. But when I started going to therapy during my gap year, um, I figured that out and yeah. So if you haven't seen my therapy video, because I definitely made two of those, make sure you check those out with the links down below, okay? Um, I talk about the different types of psychotherapy and I talk about that I'm going to therapy. So anyway, now we're going to get into what I learned about my life and what I learned about myself during the gap year sick of this man like i said before i didn't know who i was um who am i bitch like who the fuck am i i don't know who the fuck i am like i look in the mirror and i didn't know who i was um like i said i felt like i was kind of outcasted in high school um i didn't really know who i was i felt like i didn't have my own identity um i felt like i didn't know what i liked i didn't i felt like i didn't know what i didn't like i felt like with um the friends that i surrounded myself with they were people that I um, obviously inspired to be because I'm not no hating ass bitch and I'm not gonna say fuck all of them because they were good friends at one point. Um, I felt like it was people who I inspired myself to, who I wanted to be. Um, I'm an introvert, I know that. Um, I wanted to be outgoing. Um, I wanted to speak my mind, I wanted to be assertive and I knew that I wanted to just, you know, all that shit. So, I know, yes, I know that I'm funny and I'm fun and I like to go out and party, but I just felt like I was kind of always behind somebody. Like, they was Beyonce and I was Michelle. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I can explain it. <laughs> I learned that I didn't truly love myself. Um, like, yes, there was certain stuff that I loved about myself, but um, I was struggling with self-love. I was struggling with my weight. I was struggling with accepting my weight. I was struggling with my hair because um, forcing natural hair is very hard to deal with. I felt like I was living just to be alive and I wasn't living to actually live. Like I would just get up and go to school, go home, go to sleep and I'll repeat but I wasn't living to actually live I didn't have anything that I actually really wanted to go do I didn't really just feel like you know like I love my life I feel like I was just living it just to live honestly I've been through a lot of abusive relationships um, verbally mentally emotionally and that's another reason why I just didn't love myself it was very hard to learn how to love myself after that after dealing with that much abuse and all that heartbreak like i said before um i learned that i had a lot of fake friends whether it was just in high school or even out of high school and college like there are people like i'll make a whole separate video on the high school situation but um i let people into my life who i thought was going to be in my life for a long time um i love these people and um i when i'm listen when i'm your friend i'm loyal as fuck like 
I will do anything for you. If you don't have it, I got it. If you need help with something, I'm there. Like, if you need a ride, I got you. Like, if you need food and, you know, you don't get paid to, like, two weeks, I got you. Or if you don't get paid to next week, I got you. If you're hungry, if you're sad, um, shoulder right here for you to cry on, all that stuff. I was a good-ass friend, and everybody did me fucking dirty, and people wonder why I cut them the fuck off. And that shit pissed me off. And I wasn't going to talk about it on this channel, but you know what? Fuck it. Like... I'm talking about it because I've grown from it. I've learned from it. I learned what to look for in a friend now. I learned that um, people are fake. And I learned that, you know, this just all the stuff that I have been going through um, with my childhood up until now. Um, it's made me a better person. It's made me stronger. I also learned, like I said before, that I was depressed. Um, my therapist actually told me that I've been depressed since high school, like the beginning of high school. So that's a long time y'all i'm 21 so put do the math um i learned that i'm an introvert and on the positive kind of not so depressing side i learned that i actually stay on the internet for longer than i should like i'm always checking facebook i'm always checking instagram and i'm low-key like trying to like stay off social media now um and just yeah, I learned that I've been on the internet too long. I'm trying to take a social media break because I feel like it is very unhealthy to just be checking your social media like every two seconds. The last section is what happened during my gap year. What happened during my gap year? A lot has happened. Okay, so like I said, I started therapy. Um, make sure you click that link down below to see that video afterwards. Um, I started therapy um i learned that i love doing makeup during my gap year i started doing makeup um you can follow me on my makeup ig at alia.mue my personal ig is listed down below so i love doing makeup as you can see okay butterfly away during my gap year i've been spending a lot of time with family um i've been spending a lot of time with my dad um our relationship wasn't always so good like let's just say that we're getting better and yeah we're getting better spending a lot of time with him we talk a lot love my dad um what also happened during my gap year is that um just spending time with my grandmother um i wasn't gonna mention this but she's good now but she's been like in and out of the hospital so um i've just been spending a lot of time with her because that's my whole life and i love her whole life a little bit before i finished college i actually met my man if you haven't seen that video click down below okay and i'll explain everything um i met my man a little bit before i finished um college we got together during my gap year so it's just been a crazy journey like the whole process of trying to love again after dealing with abusive people um, not just abusive lovers but abusive friends um that's very hard we make two years in six months <laughs> may 26 where you at hello and i'm so excited and this whole journey has been like crazy and the last thing that happened during my gap year is <laughs> me trying to find who i am and finding god drops my i'm kidding just finding who I am and finding just learning to love God um, I've been going to church more often I've been um, going to Bible study just trying to just find my love for myself and find my love for God because um, I'll probably get into a whole nother video if you want a video on all that stuff just comment down below but yeah so that is why I decided to take my gap year and let me know if you guys want a video on the pros and cons of taking a gap year. Um, there's more pros to me than cons. But yeah, let me know if you guys want a um, a video specifically on the pros and cons of gap years. If you want a video on the high school friends that I used to have. Um, if you want a, an in-depth video on therapy. If you want... Um, video on how exactly me and my man met just comment down below okay so i feel content i feel like i got everything done um make sure you guys follow me on all my social media down below um and i'll follow y'all back and if you're new don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay
we gonna be we gonna become one we're one here we're a family on this channel so yes i love you guys so much and just thank you for um being here with me during my journey during me just learning how to love myself and all that good stuff see you in the next one